Hi, my name is Susan Wong and I'm a Solutions Architect with the Dell Software Group. Today I'll be presenting to you Shareplex's capability to replicate from Oracle to SQL Server as well as eight other targets. Shareplex has been known to replicate from Oracle to Oracle for many years, since 1998. Shareplex now supports eight target systems to date and more to come in the future. With this capability to replicate from Oracle to SQL Server, the following configurations are now supported. You can now offload reporting from an Oracle production database to a near real-time SQL Server database, replicating all or a subset of data by table, row, and or column. You can consolidate data from multiple Oracle instances to a central SQL Server target, or distribute Oracle data to multiple SQL Server databases. You can integrate applications that run Oracle and SQL Server backends with Shareplex keeping the data near real-time. Migrating an Oracle database to SQL Server can be done with minimal system and business impact. Shareplex architecture for Oracle to SQL Server is the same as for Oracle to Oracle with these same queues and processes. The post process connects to the SQL Server instance via ODBC. The configuration file, which tells Shareplex what to replicate and to where, is slightly different using an R notation in the routing map rather than an O, which would depict Oracle. Let's go ahead and go to the lab now, <clears throat> where you can see that the SQL Server config file is active. If we take a look at that config file, we can see that we're replicating from an Oracle instance depicted by ODOT. The SID name is ORLI10, and we're replicating to a target, which is SQL Server. We can see that because it's depicted by the R dot, and instead of an Oracle SID, we now have the SQL Server database. So you can see that the commands are the same. We would use the status command to see the processes that are running. Capture, reader, and export because this is the source. And we can also use the queue status command where here we can see the capture queue and the export queue again because this is the source. Now let's go ahead and insert a row into the Oracle database. We're going to insert this row Billy Joel. Go ahead and commit that. And now let's go to the target, SQL Server, <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and see that that row appears. We'll go ahead and refresh in, into that Shareplex DB SQL Server database, the demo desk table. We go ahead and execute that query, and now we can see there's the Billy Joe role in the table. Now note that we can use those same commands status command to see the import and post process since it's on the target, queue status, and we see the post queue. Also note that we see similar utilities for Oracle where MSS Clean SP and MSS Setup are analogous to Aura Clean SP and Aura Setup for Oracle where these utilities are used to clean a SharePlex installation or create the SharePlex database user. SharePlex can replicate an OD to an ODBC compliant database. What will determine which ODBC compliant databases are supported will be the re test results from the ODBC test suite utility called OTS. This utility simulates transactions that SharePlex should be able to post, send, or apply to the target database. OTS will verify that results that are as expected. Upon success at this level, SharePlex product management would then take into account market viability and make the decision on support of the database. OTS is available in the SharePlex community. In addition, SharePlex can replicate to file either SQL format or XML format and also to a JMS queue. To learn more about SharePlex, please visit our website at www.dellsoftware.com dot com slash shareplex.